Welcome back to Fairy Tale Dungeons. I think it's time that we try out the Nether Palace, which is an infinitely expanding abyss. It's probably just an infinite labyrinth, but I'm not exactly sure. Definitely gonna bring Urza because I think she's the strongest solo character to clear out uh, dungeons. And we have new starter cards for her. Definitely gonna try those out. So we got Sea God Armor and Wind God Armor. Let's see how that pl plays out. Probably gonna replace, yeah, wait. Actually, this has no crit. Hmm. So I don't know if I want to replace this with the 25% crit bonus. Maybe there's a better way to do this. I don't I don't know how I'm going to play this this out, but probably want maybe just four attack and then yeah, the 25% damage increase. 25% dodge boost, 50 max HP. 25% magic chain, 5 lacrima, no, 30% lacrima obtained. But I just, yeah, I don't really know how this is going to play out. Let, let's try this. I don't know. We'll just restart if I feel like it's... Wait, what happened? We'll just restart if I feel like um, we have the wrong start or something. Okay, so it's just a regular dungeon, right? But infinite floors? Alright, let's start with cards, probably. Let me check out the chain. Plus 12, that's pretty strong. That is pretty strong. Another chain available, double AoE potentially. Max HP plus one offense card. I'm assuming at some point you'll get like all of them. Okay, I'll take the circle sword. Especially since we have a chain for that coming up potentially. Skill please, yep. Your duration of user's buffs. Very, very good start. Extremely good start. That's going to be... I think this works. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. It, it does pop up as a buff. This definitely counts, though. Six block grant for three turns now. It's going to be pretty huge. All right. Dead. Feels really... It's gonna, the early game's going to be really nice, because I have the plus four attack. Plus four attack for four turns, and the 25% damage increase. Damage uh, taken increase for enemies. Yep, 8 Lacrima is pretty decent, 2 chests. Alright, so some of the chains, okay wait, actually chains for 3 star cards, or 3 um, three mana cards are probably not something I want to play around anyways. I could take this, I feel like this card is generally, generally good, but since we're in for the long run, I think I should take only cards that potentially chain, so I'm going to skip that. I, that's so much damage, though. It is way above the curve in terms of damage. I think I'll take it. It's, really, it's just very good. I want to go to Campfire so bad, but this is also bad about Campfire, though. Too high priority early game. Probably removing. Gotta start removing some trash. Double event, perfect. That ended up working out. I'm going for the big haul. 23, nice. Extra skill, please. Enchantment, absolutely, please. Yep. Alright, definitely going to put it on our two mana. Oh, you get to choose on everything now. Even from events. Okay, they said campfire only. Uh, I mean, they said campfire, I think, but... Oh, now any source of enchantment. This is a huge buff for enchantment events. Not so much for the campfire, because I think the campfire is just... Yeah. Alright. 15% crit chance is not as relevant as getting a normal attack out of the draw pile, I think. Especially with the 3 attack buff. I mean, I do want this eventually. Are we going to get it? Maybe, maybe not. It's not worth upgrading right now, at least. Wait, that's it? That's the boss of the first floor? Are you serious? <laughs> this is a joke? Oh, maybe this is difficulty one, right? Are there difficulties for the Nether Palace? Wait, no, there shouldn't be, right? How would that make any sense? Because you can't even, you can't really clear it. Oh, story? Who's there in the shadows? Lucy? A friend has joined your run in the Nether Palace. 
This becomes a party dungeon? Holy shit. Once you defeat a demonic guardian beast in another palace, a companion will join your party. The initial magic cards and skills of this companion will depend on the level of the nether palace they join from. So this is level one. If their HP falls to zero during battle, they will fall back and leave your party once the battle ends. Oh, can you kick people out? This is actually cool. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. So we have Lucy. Ooh, nice. So she has... Oh, she has... Oh, okay. So she has like a random starter magic chain coming with the cards. This is a build I wanted to make anyways. And then she comes with a random... A randomly unlocked skill. Because I have one. Wait, do I have one? Oh no, just because it's level one, she gets one. Terrible. Terrible Ares form upgrade though, because I don't even have the card. <laughs> Dodge boost. 20% chance to stun. Yep. Fine. Plus 10... Pretty good. Well, at least we have Lucy now. Oh shit, I have to remove cards for both characters now? Or, oh no, 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 maybe it's only for Urza. Let's see. No, I can remove for Lucy too. Okay, that's sketchy actually. I don't like this. Wait, now I have to manage two characters? Isn't this unfair? Because the income for Lacrima is the same, right? So how does this... Doesn't this make my run harder? I mean, it makes it easier because I have an extra character, but... It still feels kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about this system. Failure. Yikes. That would have been so good. Whoa, that's an elite too. Big one. Big elite. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this. It's kind of weird. 16... Chances... I mean, it's AoE. I guess we're just taking damage, eh? That's pretty cool animation. 14 damage... I can't get the chain, unfortunately. Feels like I have to set up the block. Also, the characters you recruit are much weaker because they don't start with any of the amulets, right? Ah, uh, maybe you're supposed to take amulets that affect the whole party, like 30% lacrima gain increase. I don't know. Something along those lines, maybe. Not sure how to play this. It's definitely a different strategy, it seems. Good dodge. That's the key, but I don't have... Whatever, it's going into interrupt mode, right? So we should have it easily killed by then. Three more cards over one turn, easy. Actually, I don't, even, I don't even know if I should cancel it here, but I might as well. I'm still going to continue focusing on Urza's build, because I'm pretty sure you can replace companions. I think you might get one every floor, and then you can swap them in and out. Oh, that's four Urza, right? Yeah, okay. I was wondering what the icon was going to be. Alright. Double AoE. Double AoE normal attack. No chain. Is the chain more powerful? So it'd be plus 12 instead of plus... Yeah, it is better. What are the odds of me getting it, though? Because if I brick, it's definitely better to hold these. I think I'm just gonna play it out. Alright, I guess I'll just go... At least Lucy brings some healing to the table. That's definitely the most useful thing. What do I get from chess? Do I get cards for both characters? How does this work? It's. I feel like they should only give you cards for your main character. It's, this is such a weird mode. I, I'm not sure how to think about it. Very different. 19? Do you have 19? 
AoE 5. Do I have 12? No. 9. 22 can go here. It won't. It's actually kind of sketchy. Twelve, nine, eleven. I don't know, whatever. So I don't think it matters too much. Oh, that's a good crit. Yep, that's a really good crit. Surprising, actually. Alright, let's see what the chest does. Oh man, you can get cards for loot. Oh, this sucks. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. 20% dodge boost of a normal... Okay, so this automatically plays it. Chance to interrupt. Yeah, I'll take the dodge boost. Golden Bovine Palace. Golden Bovine Palace. Yeah, whatever. I'll just say this good. I really wanted more cards for Urza. This is unfortunate. I should not have. I picked my amulets wrong, I think. Except for this one. The Mark of the Monster is correct? I don't know about this. But it seems like it's giving me random cards, so... I'm just gonna redraw them. Oh, this is pretty strong, too. Poison. Feels pretty hard. Yeah, I can definitely go. I'm gonna save this for the chain. Just go... Go this direction. Actually, I probably don't even need to kill that. I'll just go all in here. Wrong order, wrong order. Crit boost first, obviously. I'm just gonna do it. It's gonna die, right? At least I have some healing. It's always nice. It doesn't seem to be healing me much more, though, because I can't find the right setup. Could heal for 10. Skill, please? No. Four? Just events. Kind of a bad lore here. Cover HP, yeah. What? Terrible run. There's nothing I want. I don't want to unlock Lucy's side too, because I feel like... Like, this is already such a bad upgrade. Start a battle, fad block. So, I mean, there's nothing I want. These are all terrible. And I just lost 29 Lacrima. Holy shit. What a disaster. Should I unlock this in the hopes that I actually get the chain for it? Otherwise I just get 20 max HP. Just look for something better here. Apply damage by dodging. Activate magic chain plus three attack. Oh, this is interesting. Magic chain crit boost. That's really good. Okay, so Urza's tree is pretty good now. Okay, that's pretty decent. Dodge boost. Okay, Lucy is pretty low. I gotta be careful. Man, I really want to use that. I think I just have to roll. Actually, it's probably not attacking next turn. It's 
It's kind of late for it. Of course, the attacks are when you have dodge. Wonderful. Trying to get value out of that. Alright, if I'm going to be able to heal more, I might as well read. Oh. I was almost guaranteed to not. <laughs> okay. Not find any magic cards. Attack with Knight Requip three times. Well, I have to do that, actually. And that is actually impossible. That is impossible. Oh no, I can. I have the mana up. And I didn't get it. Okay, well, that's wonderful. I feel like we might die here. This is a really weird mode. I, I don't like it. I feel like it's really hard. I mean, I like that it's hard, but it just, it just feels, feels weird. It doesn't feel right. 49, I guess you just have to... Yeah, something doesn't feel right about this mode. Because you get the same amount of moves, so per floor, you're not getting that much stronger since you have to build two different characters. It's really weird. I redraw for dodge. It is guaranteed, and I get the combo as well. Yeah, and it hits Urza. Yep. Classic. I wish it told you. I do think... I don't know, I'm still on the fence about that. You guys think the the attacks that are single targets should target like sig like um signal which character is taking the damage like i don't hate that it doesn't but it does feel kind of weird in this game where like dodge is a mechanic like if you want to time dodge like specifically like the consumable stuff it feels kind of weird like i kind of wasted it on lucy because i thought she might get hit it's like 50 50 right but it's like <laughs> Like, that mushroom is so much better in single player. It just feels kind of useless to give dodge to the character. Alright, even if I can't hit with five, it's definitely dead the next turn. But I can. Yeah, never mind, it's not dead next turn. Is it? I'd want to heal anyways. Since I thought it was going to attack, but... It's not. Alright. Next character joining the party. 12 max HP for everybody. Another Shroom, which is terrible. And Natsu joins, which is fine. Why would you refuse? Alright. What do I do? What does Natsu have? Okay, this is a really good combo. Another AoE, so pretty good tree. But I want to focus on Urza since she has the most uh, additional skills as well. I might go with the talk to Labby. I need healing. And I can't really afford to remove anymore because I need Urza to be at 12 cards, I think. Crit boost. Wait, this is adding a card to my deck? Why the hell would I do that? Disgusting. If 
fights? That's a no. I don't want this card. Wait. Isn't that healing? Hold up. I might just do it because it's healing. Yeah. I, I might take that, actually. <laughs> AoE heal. Not even bad. It does add a card to Urza's deck, too, which is not bad. But I, I really need healing. It's the most important part of this. Even though it's only three. Please don't hit Urza. No. What? Two times? Seriously? Can't believe it hit the Urza two times. Wait, it was attacking? Oh, I didn't see that. Whoops, that's unfortunate. We're not in a great spot. Oh, I can give it to anybody. Okay, okay, okay. I don't want it on Urza necessarily, no. I'll just put on Natsu, he has like... Whatever. I want Urza's deck to be the strongest, most consistent. Sure. Want the mana reduction? I mean, is that or I buff this? Try to get a mana reduction on this. But again, I think. God, where's the mana reduction? What the hell? gotta be this like there's no i'm not keeping that in my hand for the most part might happen but it's gonna be pretty rare holy moly this is a lot or is i can't even really redraw that's the problem i guess you can redraw but the odds of you hitting better than this are low So I hope you have some form of healing at least. Is it gonna ask for a chain? Is this three life? No, take three damage. It ignores block. Yeah, okay, so it does. It does actually do that. Very bad hand. Same can be said here. Whoops, that, that was the wrong order. I'm... Oh, fuck. That was, <laughs> that was really bad. I'm so used to the the chain being, or I don't know why, I just feel like less mana card, like a lower mana card into higher mana card. And maybe it's because I started the game with Urza, so her chain was that way. That's easy, also easy. No healing. Wow, 
Oh yeah, Eunice and Chain is huge. Alright. Mm, not the worst fight, it's just the poison was really frustrating. AoE attack down? I don't hate that, actually. It's kind of chaotic, but... It is a... Yeah, AoE damage down is not the worst. Lucy's deck is... Pretty shit, honestly, so I'm just gonna take it. Revive is nice, I guess. Grant 12 block, grant 6 block... Whoa! Add one powerful... Okay, this is trash. All the powerful card shit is absolutely terrible. This is huge, though. Big pickup. HP is 25% or less. Yep. That's, that's going on there, You bet. I'm glad you can pick. New block on yourself. Crit boost. Virgin Palace. Virgin Palace, is that? No, that's Taurus. Hmm. Unfortunately, these are all... But I do need to get 12 cards, so I guess I just pick whatever. Maze Fruit. Maze Fruit. I mean, it's better than 4, that's for sure. Next note is crit attack up, I think. Yeah. Yeah. This tree is definitely... Oh, even this is good. Wait, no, it's not. Never mind. Juvia's card, Juvia's card... No. One off that, that's... Kind of unfortunate. Alright, Lucy's just got to draw into her... AoE shield. Sick. Very cool. Very, very cool. I guess I have to take some damage. Because I, I want to set up the crit. Oh no, wait, I don't have the crit node. Whoops. Whatever, she'll get the dodge. Again. Here we again, huh? Hmm. It's really scary. Mm, it's not... Redraw for a 1? I feel like it's better to just go for this or something. I'm surprised by how hard this mode is. My redraw. Nah, there's no point. I get a chain next turn. No dodge from Urza. Unfortunate. I feel so weak. I don't. I don't like this mode so far. I just feel so weak. It's not satisfying. I, this game is fun because you get to feel like really strong. I feel like I'm I'm playing like a solo labyrinth, but like even more awkward in terms of like power scaling. Because the enemies are scaling faster than I am. That's the problem. Like this boss is not easy by any stretch when you have like base decks for two characters and then. I can't even guarantee, to, like, I promise that I went under the assumption that I would be finding a bunch of Urza cards, but 
I didn't. So removing cards ended up hurting me because I don't have the, um, the 12 magic card bonus, so I can't really redraw that much. It's really hard. I'm in like a really bad spot. Knight requip three times over one turn. I can't even, like, I can barely redraw. Because now I can. Minus 2%. Three times. So I have to redraw. Might as well abuse the redraw here. It's pretty good. Move block, yeah. I don't feel like we're anywhere close to... I mean, we are close to beating this, but... <laughs> like, what am I gonna do afterwards? What's the retali retaliatory stance? Is it 10 damage or 2 mana? 2 mana, okay. Full redraw. Try to find the AoE shield. Or just equip the dodge. Yeah, probably. Nah, I'll try to dodge. It's not really equipping the dodge, but buffing myself. <laughs> Alright. This is fine, I guess. And then try to find the heal with Lucy next turn or something. If I get lucky. Please dodge. Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, that's not even a counterattack? Alright, I gotta do 76 here. Is it possible? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I kind of like, kind of give up already. I'm gonna try, but I just have to redraw with everybody. Try to hit the. Nope. This is maximum damage, but. Might die. Nope. 20% chance to stun? I mean... Like... It feels like that's the better play at this point. It could kill, actually, if Natsu gets a good... card set up, because I have the extra attack as well. 22... Yikes. If only I drew that. Oh well. I, I kinda give up. It didn't even dodge. Like, alright, well, like, okay. Whatever. Kinda over it. Can I use the... Wait, I wanna see if Urza can flee. Or if it's only the characters you gain. Oh, Urza can flee. <laughs> okay, so I should have revived her, but... Alright, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna stop. Like, I'm not having fun, honestly. I just wanted to try it. I don't I don't like this mode. I kind of like the idea. But here's what I would have done. I think in this mode, you... 
should only be able to upgrade your main character. No, actually, no, you should be able to designate a character that is your main character at any point. Like, you can change that. And then that character receives, like, all the buffs, right? Like, um, or at least from the chest. At least from the chest. Um, and then the entry level characters that you find should be more powerful, I think. Or I guess, but well, then it would be weird because then you can swap to that as your, as your main character, but I think that would be okay. I don't know, there's something like that. So I think the, the characters you find should be more powerful because that that way you don't have to spend energy to like buff them. It's either that or you designate a main character, I think. You can do either or, or both. I guess you don't, yeah, if the characters come in and they're stronger, well, I would still want to find cards for that one character. Like, I, I wanted to build Urza only, essentially, and I found a bunch of cards for, like, Lucy. Nothing for Natsu, but... That was my main problem. And then the fact that I, I felt like the characters were too weak, so I still kind of have to upgrade these guys. They're just not really... <laughs> I don't want to upgrade their trees, though, because I only have the same... It's the same Lacrima income. Something's not right, and maybe they should, like, increase the Lacrima income like double or triple it depending on the amount of characters like if you have, if you have three characters it's tripled if you have two characters it's doubled make it easier to like build these because as it as it is it, they're just not like even this like this is what stage what stage are we on we're on we're on floor four and i'm getting oh wait it said level does that mean there are oh are there levels for for this, uh, are there difficulty levels for this dungeon? I guess we're about to find out. Can I, can I forfeit this? Withdraw. Does that give me the XP? I don't know. Maybe. I don't think it does. I probably shouldn't have quit then, but I didn't didn't know if I was gonna do that. I don't care either way. Adds the card. Adds the card mastery skill when entering labyrinth. No redraw cost for two. Three turns, three turns, okay. Yeah, I just, I don't know, I just don't want to play that. Sure, I, I probably should have finished it to get XP, but I thought the withdrawal, a withdrawal should give you the XP, I don't know why it doesn't. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I just don't care about this at all. Okay, either way, do uh, leave your opinions about that mode down below. I, I, some of you maybe like play that a little bit more maybe there's more to it but even so i just have no i have no interest in really playing that so we're probably just going to play a little bit more solo and then probably be done because there are a lot of games that i want to play that are coming out soon and uh yeah maybe maybe this is the last video actually i don't know i'm not sure because i'm i'm i have a backlog of um videos here so this is going to come out in a few days from me recording this and then I'll have figured out by then if I want to keep playing this or focus on the new games that are coming out. But we'll see. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.